Hey guys, Bob Hughes here with the Heritage Pride Urban Homestead. I'm back in the gun room today uh, for another gun room talk. And uh, just uh, kind of came up with the gun room talk thing um, after the first video that we just posted with the, the winter channel update and uh, talking about Microsoft and all that good stuff. So uh, from here on out, you know, I, I do so many wide range of videos um, from aquaponics to gardening to homesteading to chickens to guns and gunsmithing and ammo reloading all that other stuff I thought a uh, some type of um, set down talk other than just calling it a channel update we'll just call it the gun room talk um, and I'll try to just do them out here in the gun room now that it's finished uh, topic of today's discussion is ammunition and uh, kind of the lack thereof and why we're still in the rut that we're in. Um, so I have a significant ammo stockpile, I guess. Um, of course, I would like more as every uh, gun guy or prepper. Um, there's wins enough enough. Um, I don't think that's such a thing to have too much ammunition. Um, the status of our nation and the the way that they're going with just things all the time and I'm just thankful that I don't live in the state of California um, and a few other places um, but you know you just never know what's around the corner we could wake up tomorrow and uh, even though I don't think that it'll be drastic like that they just slowly put the squeeze on us a little bit at a time but you never know. You could wake up tomorrow and and not be able to not be legal to buy anything. Who knows? So, um, but the, I guess the biggest thing is you know for those of you that can't reload or you're not you're not comfortable reloading, you're not comfortable casting, or uh, you just don't have the time. It's not financially um, plausible for you to do that uh, or something like that. Uh, ammunition reloading is. A huge money saver once you get going. Um, you have to shoot the ammo to really um, save the money. I guess you should. Uh, you could say. Um, you know, when I was shooting a lot of, of competition, I, I saved a lot of money by reloading my own ammo. Um, but now that I'm not really shooting competitions, um, you know, it's not saving me any money because I'm not really spending any money. So and but luckily, I shot enough that my investment, my initial investment, really paid off. Um, you know, the initial investment investment in reloading is is pretty high. Uh, if you get, you know, uh, if you're if you're trying to load a lot of different calibers and you buy certain name presses and and stuff like that, it can it can get pretty expensive pretty quick. Um, and then you start breaching into. Um, or moving into casting and and you know all these different things there's a lot of stuff out there and it can be intimidating to some people too so um, but anyway uh, you can start off a little bit cheaper just loading you know uh, one caliber or two calibers or something like that you're gonna save a little bit of money but the problem now is not only is ammunition so expensive and hard to come by but reloading equipment and materials are also expensive and hard to come by um, I never recommend buying uh, your explosives online, such as primers uh, and powders and things like that, because you're always going to have to pay a uh, pretty hefty special handling and, and shipping fee. Um, but some people just aren't fortunate enough to have shops around their house to where they can just go pick up the stuff. Uh, when we lived in Wisconsin, it was really easy for me to run across the street to the local reloading shop and, and purchase powder and primers and stuff like that. And that's where I got most of my reloading stuff from was buying from this local store. And so that was great. It was awesome to um, to do that. Uh, but I don't have that luxury here in Tennessee, believe it or not, where we live. Um, there's like uh, two little uh, shops and their supplies are always so low. Uh, they just don't have the working capital, I guess, to, to really stock the stuff. So it's tough to come by still. But anyway, my I guess my point for this video is 
why are the topic that ever you know that we're all still wondering about why are 22 lr still impossible to find and expensive as hell um that's just the the question that still baffles me and you know two years ago uh there were a lot of us shooters that that kind of saw what was happening and what was going on and 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 uh after after the fact of the of the reloading or of the the shortage um, you know the the problem was it wasn't the suppliers and the and the manufacturers and I talked about this in another video the the manufacturers are cranking out the 22 LR more than they've ever done in centuries um, it's not the suppliers for not supplying it because they're supplying it it's the buyers it's the the shooters like us that are out there and we're still looking for it and we're panic buying and panic buying is going to be the curse of us if it's not already um you know these guys are making all this ammunition and and bam um you know it's sold as quick as as quick as it's released and of course the suppliers are jacking the prices up because they can they can do that and you'll pay it you know that's just what we do because we're panic buying and that's not a good deal but what what would happen is if we stopped buying the ammo come on people it's been four years now five years since this shortage started and we're still buying 22 lr like it's going out of style um if you don't have it yet then shame on you you should have enough by now um so stop buying the 22 lr up but what will happen is Right now, they're cranking it out. I mean, it's, it's full capacity, they're cranking it out. If we stop buying the crap, then they're going to continue to crank it out at full capacity until there's that window of time where uh, the supplier says, okay, we're not, we're not selling it anymore, and then there's that, that amount of time before the presses and the, the manufacturers like slow down to a point to where... Um, or kick it back into a lower gear, I guess you should say. So in that time frame, they're stocking them shelves, and then there's this huge oversupply of 22 LR. Then they can stock the shelves, they can drop their prices back down, and everything will be hunky-dory. Um, for example, this box right here, it's American Eagle. It's not the greatest, but American Eagle, uh, 22 LR, 40 grain. There's 500 rounds in this box. 500 rounds. I bought this unknowingly, um, not knowing that the shortage was about to happen. I bought this one month before the shortage. I paid $11 for a box of 500 American Eagles. 11 bucks. Um, now, I'm not a rocket scientist by no means, but that's cheap. That's probably about one and a half cent per round, maybe two cents per round, somewhere around in that, that ballpark. Two cents per round, we'll say. Two cents per round is what I was paying for this this 22 LR a month before the shortage, back in 2011, I think is when it started. Um, and then later on, uh, it was impossible to find. And if you did find it, you were paying just you know 80, 90 bucks for a brick of 500. Um, so it went up four, five, six hundred percent in a matter of months. Well, now things are starting to, you can find it here and there. You know, I see people posting they've got it in stock or whatever and, and stuff like that. So things are starting to slow down a little bit, but it's still, you know, um, I'm not a huge fan of Walmart. I don't shop there a lot. But when we do, I always go to the sporting goods counter and see if they've got 22 LR and see what the price is on it. And I've never found it at Walmart. <laughs> so, um you know, it's still scarce. It's it's not impossible to find, but it's scarce. Um, I did a panic buy. Uh, I didn't feel like I had enough, so I did a panic buy about a year ago, and I purchased uh, a couple boxes of these uh, Auto Match uh, Federal 22 LRs, and I bought a couple boxes of these uh, Remington. And uh, there's how many rounds in this? 325 rounds in this box and 525 rounds in this box. Um, so this one's probably closer to the, the American Eagle that I purchased um, back before the shortage. And $11 for this box. Um, and 
I'm not, I don't even remember how much I paid for this. I don't want to remember because it was probably ridiculous. So, anyway, I, I'm not telling you what to do uh, by no means, but I want to encourage you to uh, maybe step away from uh, purchasing 22LR for a little while and let's see what happens. Um, you know, uh, if it if it works, then great. If not, then go back to panic buying. But let's just see what happens. Um, but I also want to show you guys uh, not not just telling you not to buy ammo because that's stupid. I don't want to tell you not to buy ammo, but I also want to show you guys this website. All right, guys. So here's the website I was taught. I wanted to show you guys. Um, bear with me. I don't know how to do the fancy screen grab stuff. So I'm just holding the camera and I'm going to show you the uh, website. So the name of the website is called uh, WikiArms.com. And when you first go to WikiArms.com, it'll bring up automatically the 22LR. So as if they don't already know what we're looking for. Um, and you can see on this website here, there's different um, lists of descriptions of ammunition over here. How much you're paying per round. Look at that, eight cents a round. And then the total price, whether it's in stock, when it was last, uh, last changed or updated, and then who's selling it over here. So let's say uh, you look over here at this description. Um, here's a box of Federal 325 of them. Uh, a little over eight cents around, twenty six fifty for the box. So we click on that, and it'll bring up the website that of the distributor that's selling it. And in this case, it's Extraordinary Ammo. Um, there's the box of ammo, and it's twenty six fifty a box. And you just put your quantity and add a cart. Now I will say most of these websites have limits on how much you can buy, but that's the uh, that's how it works. Um, so it's a cool website. It's not the, they don't actually sell the ammunition, but they find the people that do. Now the cool thing about this website is it's not just for 22 LR. You can do nine millimeter, 45. I mean, it's self-explanatory. You just click on what you're looking for over here. Let's say we're looking for some 45 ACP. Um, then you go back to the website and you can see here, 25 cents around. Um, here's some free shipping, a thousand rounds, twenty-five cents a round, two hundred forty-eight bucks. So anyway, and then of course, who's selling it? You just click on that link, and it'll take you, like I said, to their website. Every now and then, this one's quality made cartridges. Every now and then, you'll find them, and they will say, even though that website says in stock, um, it'll say out of stock. Um, so uh, you know, it's not always perfectly updated. Um, this looks like a company that specializes in reloading secondhand brass. It looks like you can do a brass exchange, send them a thousand rounds of brass, and they'll mark 68 bucks off of your bill. And I agree to send brass cases before my order will ship. Yeah, so you send them a thousand uh, pieces of 45 brass, and they mark 69 bucks off your order, and then ship you a thousand rounds of ready to go. So that's pretty cool um, for a non-reloader. Uh, but anyway, something to keep in mind. Like I said, the name of the website is, where'd it go? Right here, wikiarms.com. All right, so you can see that website, that's a that's a pretty cool website. I mean, it, uh, uh, it shows you who's got the best prices on it um, that report to this company or whatever, but shows you who's got the best prices and uh, where you can get it if you want to purchase it online uh, stuff like that so it's a neat website not not just for 22 LR but for a lot of different calibers as, as I showed you it's just a neat website so um, anyway uh, like I said not telling you not to buy 22 LR um, but don't panic buy the 22 LR like I said it's been four years now um, five, almost five years and we're still panic purchasing 22 LR for no reason um, we need to if you don't have some stocked up I don't have a, a crazy amount of 22 LR I've got probably 2,000 rounds um, and I just I, I just don't sh I try not to shoot it as much I mean I can load we, we, we saw the prices on the website eight eight and a half cents a round I can load nine millimeter cheaper than I can load than I can go buy 22 LR 
Um, I can cast a nine millimeter and load it for about two and a half to three cents a round. That's crazy. I mean, two and a half to three cents a round and a little bit of work, I can I can cast and load nine millimeter versus paying nine cents a round for some cheap plinking ammo. So anyway, um, like I said, not telling you not to buy it, just encouraging you to maybe take a step back, consider what I'm saying as, um, you know, evidence that it could happen. We've seen it happen in, in other industries before. Um, you know, and, and some people say, well, inflation this, inflation that, and that's, that's true, there is inflation, but there's not that much inflation. Inflation is not four or five hundred percent in five years. It's just, that's not how it works. Um, also, uh, there is a possibility that, you know, they will overstock the shelves uh, if we stopped buying it and that the ammo price would come down but not come down to what it was before and that my friends is really what I think will happen uh, even if we stop panic buying and the shelves overstock they're they're gonna eventually drop the prices because they don't want to sit on that product they want to move that product that's what businesses do but um, I doubt we will ever see it down back down to two or three cents around so uh, like I said this video is is five years after, four to five years after the uh, initial scare and um, I'm, you know, I'm seeing videos from 2012 and 2013 of people encouraging um, us shooters to, to take a chill pill and not, not purchase the ammo and today, four or five years later, we're still trying to find 22 LR and I don't know about you but I've got a bunch of 22 long rifle handguns and rifles that I'd like to shoot um, but I don't want to because I've only got 2,000 rounds so for the sake of your 22 rifles and handguns let's take a chill pill and stop panic buying 22 LR anyway guys that's all I've got for this video just another gun room talk and kind of getting something off my mind uh, or off my brain, off my chest, whatever you want to call it. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below. I'd like to know what you guys think about why we still have a ammo scarce on 22LR, um, and, but everything else has pretty much came back to normal. Uh, your 5.56, stuff like that. It's still a little high, but it's not nothing like it was back after the scarce. Um, you know, all that stuff's back. So let me know what you think, why the reason why, why it's doing that. Also, uh, don't forget to check out our suggested videos up here um, and uh, go back to our playlists and check some of those, that stuff out. Also, if you're new to the channel uh, or you're new to the videos and you've never seen my big epic beard and handsome face before, um, then check out, our, check out our little link right here. It'll take you back to our channel. You can see our uh, other playlists on uh, hydroponics, aquaponics, homesteading, gunsmithing, reloading, casting, homesteading, prepping, everything that, you know, I get into, really, I put it on YouTube. Um, so anyway, check that out. If you like what you see, we always appreciate the subscriptions. So uh, anyway, guys, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.